Oh well. Hello, peace be upon you. I'm trying really hard to have a nice background to the shop, which might be quite unnecessary. I'm not sure, but I like the flowers here at this mosque. So, um, I want to talk about how do you not be part of the rat race? Now, like yesterday's little chat, it's based on the person I came across, a uh, very nice bloke um, who coming out of coming uh, met me after you know on his way home uh, after work and telling me how he feels trapped in the rat race and I said give me a topic and he said well escaping the rat race been, has been done give it a different title call it how not to be part of the rat race and the reason why we're in the rat race is because of fear because it's not as if people have never escaped the rat race and the question is how do we remove that fear because nobody likes to be part of the rat race in fact one thing I, the two things I wanted to say actually um, firstly what is the rat race just in case you know you might not have heard of the term rat race um, and the second thing is I want to tell a bit more about his story and to, to make it sort of real, you know, it's not just a talk about the rat race. So what is a rat race? It's about this unrelenting competition to get material stuff, working really hard and not really getting very happy in the process. Uh, it's kind of like, yeah, just not enjoyable, just go to work, go like a cycle, going round and round, dings, making lots of money, but the money just gets spent and then you just have to, for whatever silly reason, uh, and actually now I'm going to go into the stuff that he was saying, he's like, you make money and you feel like it's not made much difference. Uh, the money doesn't seem to be very fulfilling, the effect of the money that you spend once you've made all that effort to make it uh, and then it's, that's not the only bit of the rat race that he didn't like He's, it's like at work you have to do the right thing do you know behave the right way you, you're not feeling real you the work is although he's a kind of a high level worker in his industry it's still kind of repetitive and not good for the soul you know and what makes it worse is that everybody has to behave a certain way uh, oh gosh the the ground cleaning polisher thing has got its way so I better hurry up uh, and so all this kind of stuff and it's not news to me this is not the first conversation I've had like this about the rat race and um, one of the points of even just introducing this is to uh, make people realize that they're not the only people feeling like that people are wearing masks endless people are wearing masks those horrible people that work in his place who make him feel like he's not enough as well i think did i mention that that's another part of the rat race you just don't feel like you're enough or you've achieved enough in your life every day it feels the same like oh if only i did this and that and there are places in the world where people are much poorer, much happier, and they don't have all these terrible feelings. Uh, so it's definitely possible, and there are definitely ways, even in this, in this Western lifestyle, which doesn't focus on family values, which is the kind of stuff that actually makes you happier and fulfilled. Uh, it is still possible in this Western lifestyle. It more, should be more possible um, but we have been manipulated and I'm not going to go into that so to the, the key thing that we have to resolve is how do we lose fear that is the thing that is stopping us from seeing we can see in the corner of our eyes that yes there is a possibility to get out of there everybody knows that there is a way to escape the rat race because so many people have done it but we keep telling ourselves oh it's just a bit too difficult what if that happens what if this happens how do you lose that fear and again this is not the first time in history that the rat race has been invented so 
And as, as I've always said, the stuff I'm teaching is age-old stuff. It's age-old wisdom and the solution to losing your fear are two things, but not very popular. That's why they're not done so well and that's why Western life uh, is full. Uh, Western lifestyle is uh, basically the rat race lifestyle. Even if you're really well off, by the way, it doesn't seem to make any difference because people are just doing more stuff that doesn't really make them happy, even if they've got endless amounts of money. By the way, I thought I'd just add that. So the solution is two things, like I said, not very popular. One, belief in God, and two, doing good things. Those two things together have been ancient solutions to lose fear. Okay, now you can have def different levels of belief in God and different levels of goodness and so therefore the, your lack of fear or more fear have different levels. But the point is that if you do a little bit more of it, just try it out and you'll see, oh, I don't seem to be losing my fear because believing in God doesn't make you feel stupid, uh, make you stupid like believing in fairy tales, oh okay, now I know less and my brain switched off, now I feel less fear. That's not actually what's happening. L believing in God gives you a greater perspective of the reality which is that we're already living in a bubble. You know the atmosphere where the clouds float over the, over the world? That is very much like a bubble. When you see a bubble and you can see the reflection, you can see something kind of swiveling around. That's how thin our atmosphere is. It's crazy. We're living in... We should fear a lot more, but believe there's a lot more. We should fear instant death by asteroids hitting us, but we've got all these weird things like magnetic fields protecting us in strange ways. So, in the beginning, belief in God gives you some perspective, but that's only the beginning of it. Belief in God, when you start believing and relying on God, you'll see all sorts of weird things happening that gets you out of these miserable situations. People who uh, believe in God and rely on God get out of these situations. Uh, as they life, love to say in these certain sort of more secular talks, the universe somehow responds to your inner goodness. When you become a good person, the universe responds. But I hate to say that because the only reason why they say the universe uh, does this uh, as, it's like as if the rocks and the plants suddenly respond to you which is crazy right okay it's because they s desperately don't want to talk about God but by not talking about God you're stepping away from uh, truth itself because just saying the universe responds is like a big lie just to uh, satisfy the Western mind who uh, which re really wants to reject God okay so Yes, God will is real and will help you in your life. Just try it out, just a little bit, and test it. It's, it's an imp empirical thing. You try, try it out, see what happens. And the other thing uh, that will uh, remove fear and open your mind to the possibilities so you can escape uh, from the rat race is doing good things. Now good, doing good things has a couple of effects and the different kinds of good things. Uh, let's talk about just normal good things, being nice to each other and all that kind of stuff. Okay, that opens your heart and then opens your mind to possibilities and positive thinking. You see, when you're fearful, which is the default situation uh, in a materialistic lifestyle, when you're fearful, you're thinking negative, you're not thinking possibilities, when you're doing good stuff, any good thing you do has a positive effect on you, and I'm hoping there's not too much background noise, but that's one thing. And finally, before it gets too loud, uh, giving money away, give bits of money away, because money, when you make money, you're in a materialistic lifestyle, you rely on money and you become fearful of losing money. When you give some of that money away, you kind of lose that fear uh, that gives you some freedom and that's what part of the happiness revolution is about giving you freedom, making you free uh, making, uh, what was it? throwing away the shackles of materialism and the illusions of materialism so when you give away money you realise, oh I'm still alright, I'm still managing actually I'm actually happier somehow, it's a bit weird but it works, thank you for watching